want him to live. <laughs> All right, so first things first, but a beautiful, huge delegation. I'm going to have you all introduce yourselves. I think that's the polite thing to do, okay? I'm going to start with you, and there's your microphone, and I think there's some that you can share amongst yourselves. All right, go for it. Uh, I'm Mommy Sarah. Hi everybody, I'm Jimmy Reinsford, nice to meet you all. Hey, my name is Greg French. Hi, I'm Naomi Clark. I'm Jesse Supple. Hi, I'm Louie Lynch. I'm Darren Sweeney. Uh, and I'm Michael Killian on the head of delegation. French, no, we're alcoholic. That's a different meeting. Oh, sorry. I wanted it to the wrong room. Okay. Um, just out of curiosity, we got the head of delegation, but the, uh, the younger folk here between me and the head of delegation, what are your, what are your uh, functions here at Eurovision? I'm double band spare for Molly. Okay, so you're a musician, yeah. right? I'm one of the backing vocalists. Okay. And on. I am a backing vocalist as well. All right. I'm a backing vocalist and a cellist. Okay. I'm a co-writer and a therapist, apparently. <laughs> I play the drums. You play the drums. Well, I'm always into the drums. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Me too. I like the, I like the <laughs> section of the drums. Okay. Um, I just wanted everyone to know, like, not just your names, but you know what you're what, what you're here for, right? All right, Molly. Um, the question everybody asks, I'm sure, and everybody is completely astounded. You're 17 years old. Yeah. Well, that was publicity, so that's true. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, no, no. You are 17 <laughs> years old. Yeah. Okay. Don't <laughs> worry. It's okay. <laughs> um, and you're still at school. Yes. What What grade or what What level when, is that? Uh, like. The year before to finish a year in school, so I'm in fifth year right now. So, are, do you have now special permission, or is this like a, a special credit that you get that you earn for for uh, achieving the test of Eurovision? I don't think they're gonna call my leaving their points, but I'm trying. Well, it's very yeah. educational. <laughs> it's true, it is. So, how do you do that? Are you just taking time out? Or? Yeah, um, it was cool. Like they're really supportive of my school, kind of. Like it's just said, like when the kind of opportunity came up, he kind of just said, like, look, if it's what you want to do, and this opportunity has come up, why don't you? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to be like, no, I'm in school. Yeah. He said, don't worry, we'll, we'll help you catch up. So, yeah, right. they've been amazing. Yeah. Right. And so, up until now, I mean, you've had a couple of days now in Vienna, and you've had your rehearsal. What's what's your impression thusly so far? Um, it's mental. Mental? <laughs> so cute. Like, but I was, I went, the first time I went on stage and I was like, I can't wait to see the stage because I've never been, like, I used to be scared to get up and play in school, like, in front of assembly. I'd be like, oh, hell. <laughs> so I was like, hell, I don't know if I can do this. I got off and, um, I was kind of sitting there and they're like, okay, 10, 9, I couldn't stop smiling, like, the lights were, it's, oh, it's surreal, like, it's amazing, but then I kind of had to remember, oh, no, sad song, wait, sad song, channel sad. Um, <laughs> yeah, that would look weird if it was like, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. But no, it's amazing, like, but it's so laid back as well, we're just having such a good time. Like, good. And, like, you know. good, good. Have you had any interaction with Austrians yet? <laughs> no one wants to answer that, all right, fair enough. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's have some interaction with the International Press Corps. Uh, anybody got a question for Molly and co? Uh, yes, sir, first person to have raised his hand. Uh, I don't mean to point, I'm sorry, but yes, you here. <laughs> Hi, Molly, Cora from We Blogs. Um, Given that Ireland has won seven times, we can be quite protective of your entry in high standards. How have you found the reaction at home so far? Amazing. The reaction has been really cool. Like, I don't feel, I was asked earlier, do I feel like, oh, Ireland won it so many times, you feel pressure. I don't, sometimes I have to pinch myself, like, oh, wait, it's a competition. But, like, it doesn't feel like a competition, and we're just having so much fun, and I think the best performances. I brought out of enjoying it, and if you're not enjoying it, why are you doing it? It's true, also, music is subjective. I mean, this is a competition, but uh, 
It's, um, it's a great honor to represent your country. Yeah. Okay, next question. Yes, Alistair. Hi, Wally. Alistair Miller from SBS Radio in Australia. Um, can you tell us perhaps a little about the influence on your performance and music of members of Fleetwood Mac? Uh, I like you. I like that question. Everybody likes Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I can't remember, when I probably started listening to Fleetwood Mac when I was like littler. Um, littler? Littler. That's very English. No. Um, but um, yeah, I I just love it. I want to see them in July actually in the three arena. I just think Stevie Nicks is like oh my God, she's amazing. I, I I just I when I started listening to Fleetwood Mac, it was the first kind of time I really felt like properly it just brings you into the zone of the song and like what music is about. And I just yeah, I'm obsessed with Fleetwood Mac. They make me stutter like right now. <laughs> Next question, uh, Simon. Hello, I'm Simon from Poland, very good centre. First of all, really congratulations on all this amazing coming to yeah. I, I can still believe that you are just still teenager, come on. You uh, even not remember the last victory of Ireland in the Eurovision Song Contest, but the question about your previous victories were mentioned. The question is now about the presentation, because we see trees, all trees behind you. It was your choice, what does it mean, uh, uh, really, in this presentation? Um, well, the staging was just trying to like stay true to the song. Like the, um, we were trying to go for, kind of make it as atmospheric as possible, and warm, the warm tones and stuff, and um, everybody had to say, in the graphics and stuff, but uh, there's a, there's an amazing team behind that doing that as well. So I literally just had to go, yeah, that's awesome, I love it. But uh, no, there's amazing people doing lights and everything. So no symbols. Sorry. No special meaning. Um, any special symbolism with the trees? I think right when we were discussing it initially, it was um, Molly tends to go into her own world on stage when she's performing, and it's a beautiful thing to see. She's in her own space, and uh, occasionally she comes out of that space. And the internal visualization that you have with Molly on stage, a contrast to that is an external, surreal, somewhat surreal world. And um, what we hope to achieve with the end result, and that's what we're here rehearsing at the moment to do, is to achieve that lovely contrast between her inner world and um, the outside in a certain, a certain way. And we hope it works. We think it will. And it looks nice as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask the gentleman with the green shirt. Hi, it's Pete from Aruv um, uh, for Iceland. Um, and it's a question for Molly. I'm a big uh, Stevie Nicks fan as well. And what, what, does, uh, what brings a Stevie Nicks fan to put in a song for Eurovision? And uh, was the song written especially for Eurovision or for other? No, um, the song, me and Greg have been working on, on an album for the last year, and we had the song, um, we had the song done before the Eurovision idea came about, and I kind of walked in the studio one day, hey Greg, okay, let's start your own song. Um, how about we do the Eurovision, Molly? <laughs> no, but then we were kind of talking about it, and it just it, people at the start were like, "But that's that's not a Eurovision song, you can't put that." But then you know, it's it's an amazing platform <coughs> for an artist, and also to represent your country in music. I don't think there's a type of song for that. I think Ireland has a lot of musicians, even just Dublin, like it's ridiculous. And someone, you know, we're, I think we're representing them as well. Exactly, and it, it was voted. So it, that's the strange thing. Yes, we did go for a different approach, but um, that approach um, the public seemed to favour, and uh, in Molly as well. So um, who are we to? You know. I think these days there is no such thing as a typical Eurovision song. Yeah. 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 You're making a sound to, to a formula. It's not really like, my idea of like why yeah. I do music, you know. So. And somewhat all along, we're kind of, in some ways, doing the opposite to what you'd expect for a Eurovision song. 
um, even somewhere in the staging as well. I'm not going to give too much away, but we're trying to go for a different, a different approach as well. And that approach happens to be something Molly is very comfortable with. And, there, like, yeah, and we're enjoying every single part of it. And yes, it is a competition, there is pressures, but and we're all up here and we're pinching ourselves. We're <laughs> loving every moment of this. And, and that sometimes in competitions, that's a rare, rare thing. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to uh, ask a question that was submitted online at uh, hashtag Ask Eurovision. Uh, let's see here. All right, here's one <laughs> from Liv Atovsky. Can you describe your song playing with numbers in three words? <laughs> We've answered this earlier. Oh, really? Yeah, we answered. Yeah, would you like us to answer it in the same way? So yeah. just we have to count into it. So it's one, two, three. Freaking awesome! Excellent! That's a good one. There's also, there's also another way of describing it, and that would be deserving 12 points. Deserving? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I'm going to take one last question. Ah, yes. Hello, Molly and Delegation, Blair Martin from Radio 4 Triple Z FM in Brisbane, Australia. Australia and Ireland have a really long and deep connection. A bond. Yeah. Sure. Well, my... Yeah. Like family to you already. Well, I am. <laughs> my family came from Cork in 1837. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I, I visited Cork in 1999. Okay. <laughs> 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 you can be a rebel as well. Because we've got this great bond, Australia and Ireland, when we give you Dusapar, can we get Dusapar back for Guy Sebastian? And what do you think of his song? It's a question for the Irish Republic. <laughs> 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 it's awesome, yeah. But no, uh, yeah, I don't know. I Ireland loves Aussies, so, like, you know. Yeah, absolutely, yes, is what I'm going to say. But we're going to have to ask head of delegation over here. Well, uh, there's, there's quite a few Australians in Ireland, for a start, I think you've got that going for you. You've also got the fact that, that um, the song is really, really good, and um, I think that, you know, when all things are equal, that's what, you know, you're, is going to make the difference. Alrighty, we're going to wrap things up, but, um, you know what, I don't think I like the situation of, like, <laughs> It's photo time now, but please remember, in 20 minutes, Katy is going to be back with Romain. No, that doesn't sound right. We don't mean the answer. Well, Katy's going to be back with another delegation.